Hello there YouTube. This is the second part of me putting the garden tractor trailer together. Let me get down here and show you this. These were the pieces that go on top of your leaf springs where the U-bolts come up from the rear end. And these bolts held in the eye bolts of the shackles. On the end of your leaf you got your eye bolt, which I recycled that. Cut these in half. A couple little blocks and metal there to take up the slack. Gussets. Bolts had the washer up, but the washers came from the U-bolts, nice and thick. Recycling everything on that came off it. Excuse the four welds. I got this skinny little rod. Burns faster than a match, but let me get back here. It's gonna be four by eight with a four foot sheet of plywood on there. We'll have three and a half inches clearance on each side to the inside of the tire. I removed the little saddles that go on here that are curved they, to, to fit your underneath your leaf springs because this was undermounted. This wasn't overmounted, it was undermounted underneath the leaf springs. So it was. Y'all know what I mean. But there's little saddles on there. They're hard to see. There you go. They're just moved over welded. I'm thinking about going with this. I can get U-bolts for probably about $25 for four. I can put U-bolts rear on the rear end. This is this is the holes where the U-bolts went through. Then I can duplicate this on this side, but I think I'm gonna go with this. It's not gonna be out on the interstate or nothing. Just gonna be local if I ever pull behind the pickup. I I trust that. I always use any kind of paint over a weld if I don't have primer. You can see there's three different colors. Even on the threads of the bolts, even though the bolts are oiled, you just gotta take them out. It's just a little tip. Spray paint all over everything when you weld. Even if you don't have no primer. You might have to take it apart. You weld it, might as well not have it rusted. And better to see this one. In your little perch on your rear end, there's a hole there. Because there's a pin goes down through your leaf springs which centers it. I took a 3-8 bolts, 9-16 head, grounded off to fit in that hole. That keeps your burn from going like this on the leaf springs. They call it dog tracking if it slides. So I actually did that. That helped line everything up to put these on here. But I made these gussets. I would not trust just this. A couple little blocks of metal tacked on the corner. No, I made actual gussets. Told them I would trust that. Thought I'd show some detail on that. It makes a nice little low trailer. Get out here without tripping. And make a nice little old trailer. Might have to modify the hitch in the garden tractor, which yeah, I know it will. So it doesn't lean in the front, so it's just level. It's not really a big deal. It's pull around the yard, but it may look wide looking at it. That's because the frame is narrow. The time you get a piece of plywood on there, you'll have three and a half inches of clearance between the inside of your tire and the four foot plywood. That's pretty good. You might have trouble somebody putting a big riding mower on there, as big as the deck is, but with the sides removable, hopefully a person can get up over the tires. I've seen people have trouble trying to carry them mowers. Get some of them big, giant riding lawn mowers. But one last shot. We don't want to make this too long. So that's part two. Mouth the rear end solid. I might get some low-profile tires which will make it closer to the ground. I kind of like that big look. A lot of farm equipment and stuff, you got real big tires and stuff. Decided whether to paint it John Deere green with yellow rims. Haven't decided yet, but. Thanks for watching.